Good morning viewers and welcome to Lucis on Harvey Donaldson's. It's Friday the 1st of December, the first day of summer, and it is a shitty day here in Melbourne. Myself and Ballbag, this is not a gazetted run, but myself and Ballbag, we're heading up to Brisbane. We're going to visit Freddie's mum for her 90th birthday. The first day of summer in Melbourne. Viewers, have a look at this. Oh. You don't like the weather in Melbourne? Just wait a minute. So today, viewers are going to make our way to Sydney. Probably stay just out of Sydney somewhere tonight. And then from Sydney to Brisbane the next tomorrow. Might take three days to come home. We don't know yet. Playing it by ear. I really thought you would have had all of this done, Freddie. Uh, I was surprised because, yeah, you're usually late. So we've decided we're going to shoot straight up to Hume. Um, Apparently it's 100 k's longer, but the road's pretty good, so. Might cost a bit more too, e-tags. Oh. Which I topped up And e-tags as well. Yeah! viewers 100 k's into it Tullarook another uh, 1500 to go Tim Zim run yeah. <laughs> between 30 k's from Holbrook <laughs> yeah we're going to stop at Holbrook and fill up yeah, so far so good get a nebula around and well, hang on. Bit of nebula around, and it looks like the strata cumulus isn't going to clear, but that's okay, as long as it doesn't rain. No strata nimbus? There's a nebula there. Nimbus cumulus? There's a nebula there, we'll clear that. <laughs> I find that fascinating. A couple of these in Holbrook. Now we're about to leave Goulburn and head towards Sydney, and we don't really know where we're going at the moment. Okay, change of plans. We're in Wyoming. <laughs> just in our room. Just, uh, Which is Gosford, sort of. Yeah, just had a bit of a shower, freshen up. Now we're going to go get something to eat and a few beers. Yeah. Big ride again tomorrow. I think we've got another bloody 12 hours ahead of us. Nah, knock it off in eight or nine hours tomorrow. Home no, straight. Dinner at, what's the, what's the name of this pub, Freddie? Fuck the fine, huh? Yeah. Uh, Settlers. Ah. Yeah, anyway, it's dinner. Dinner at the pub. Might be the Gosford Inn. It's nine o'clock. <laughs> we finished at the pub and we're going up to our room. Oh, it's been a big day. A 12, really big day. Twelve hours of riding for the widows. Yeah. Unheard of. I know. Yeah, I've still got a spring in my step, though. Mm. Up the stairs. Yeah, come on, oh, yeah, very sprightly. Day two. Morning, viewers. 
just having a morning plank. <laughs> uh, I'm just an old planker. It's nearly eight o'clock. Be on the road soon. Ten minutes or so. It's been raining here. But uh, I think we're heading into good weather. Stay tuned. Got about 860 k's to go today, viewers. And with gout biting at my ankle. Ouch. Let's go. You didn't pick up the keys to my bike, did you? No, why would I do that? Yeah. Maybe we won't be going. We've got a problem. Hang on, they're around here somewhere because the bike's starting. <laughs> Freddy. He's got a memory as long as a rooster's cock. He's out of Tari. Sun's out now. Now we can dry out. Absolutely drenched back there. Here we are at BP in Coffs Harbour. They wouldn't let us fill up. Our, they wouldn't start the pumps to the petrol uh, bowsers until we took our helmets off. Can you believe that? The word is, gang is down. Yeah, the gang's in. That is right. We've done a up with this. What bird brain idea is that? What in God's name is this country coming to? Typical widows, trying to get out of Coffs Harbour and we're lost. Stung in the cheek by a bee! just been bit in the back, the back of the neck by a bee. What next? Nothing ever goes right. That's 300 k's to go. Starting to get really hot now. Steaming up, the humidity's starting to kick in. <laughs> and the service at these service stations is horrendous. Yep. Can put a few start. more people on, people. Whoever owns a BP. The unemployment is paying all these people unemployed. Um, unemployment funds too much. Nobody wants to work. That's one of Freddie's fascinating facts. Well, it's a fact. I find that fascinating. Sleep in. Hello Lucy. <laughs> How are you? Good thanks. Here's our mine host. In a flash new car. Hello Savannah. Hey, hello. How are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Day three. Good morning viewers. It's Sunday today. 
Didn't do much uh, video when I got off the bike yesterday because we spent 11 hours on the bike and that was enough. My ring was sore. Anyway, this is where we're staying. Um, Freddie's sister's place. Silvana, very nice. I'll show you around. Have a look at this. There's a new car. And we're staying downstairs. Silvana and her mother are upstairs. Uh, what would you call this area, Freddie? Oh, it's the uh, downstairs um, community room. <laughs> yeah, we've got the tally. Yeah, well. Uh, the nice clean mirror over there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's a the kitchen. And the, and the fridge was well stocked for us. Yes, yeah. yeah. Good girl. All right. Yeah. yeah. Chocolate. Oh, yeah. Through here. This is my bedroom. There's a rat in the wall over there, apparently. He woke me up this morning. Oh, oh there's my mum. We'll carry on this a bit later. Yeah, so anyway, here's my bedroom. Yeah, and there's a rat in this wall here. Scratches around in the morning. He comes through here. There's Freddy's room. Bathroom, shower, mm, the shitter. Okay, viewers, myself and ball bag, we're off to meet an old primary school friend of mine, Mark Thomas. We've known each other since grade three, and we're meeting him at Rick's Garage up in Palmswood. It's about an hour from here. So, Mark rides a Harley, he's bringing along a mate who's a widow's fan apparently, and we're going to shower him with stickers. There's two doves <laughs> homing up there, just above the door, which is very handy because when you walk out the door, they kind of shit on your head. They shit on the, just outside here. Garage with Scotty and Mark. Mark and Scotty, sorry. We used to go to school with Mark. We met each other in grade three, we we're about seven years old. And there we are now. Where's Paul? Hardly changed. Paul is up <laughs> in his bedroom counting his pubes. <laughs> right, we're going inside and have a look. Freddie, your ass looks so tight. Oh wow. Okay. This is the Scotch bar apparently. Very nice. Workshop. Oh yeah. Big sign. Yeah, right. Fire rolls. Probably setting the alarms off. Here's Mark's bike, an old heritage, very nice. Who would have thought we were seven years old giving each other nipple cripples and Chinese burns and now we're riding motorbikes. this place? Uh, that's Montville up there. Montville. Top of this hill, mountain, with a bike. Have a look. Viewers, have a look at this. That's a sunny coast, mate. Yeah, fantastic. Pretty good in there. You got a fascinating fact about this, Freddie? Uh, for one. 
but he's got these fascinating facts. One of the real uh, rare rainforests of Australia that hasn't been attacked yet. It's all original. I find that fascinating. Well, on behalf of the uh, widows, Scott and Mark, first ride. Good. Put them on, put them on, you're gonna put them, you're gonna put them. <laughs> Gardner Falls. Gardner Falls. Very popular with the German backpackers, this place. Really? My last girlfriend, Jules, was half German, half Shepherd. Arthur's Lookout. Let's go check it out. Day four. And we're off to Caloundra to go see Mark and Scott. Gonna catch up with them again. We've got the proof. Highway to our Right along, viewers, and I just noticed my watch was just hanging on my wrist. Have a look at that. Lucky. Have a look at that, Freddie. You can fix that. Freddie will, fi Freddie will fix it. Is the pin there? Oh, it's broken, is it? Hit in the face with my bell, my shoelace broke, now my watch. What next? Well, I've just had breakfast with Mark and Scott and uh, at the Feral. Coffee club. Coffee club. Ball bag is here, sir. What about getting main lunch? Oh. <laughs> in uh, Caloundra? Talk yourself up in Caloundra. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to go and do something, but we don't know what we're going to do. Come 2,000 k's for coffee. Drink beer. Drink beer. Good idea. Okay, we've just done a solid 5Ks along the uh, Esplanade, or the Corniche, as Freddie would like to call it. And we're at Mo Moffat Bay. Moffat's Bay, or Dickies Beach, or something like that. Anyway, let's go have a look. Where are we, Scott? Moffat Beach. Moffat Beach. Apparently. It's all new to me, too. Yeah. yeah. You see out there in the distance there, the viewers, he's a... That's uh, a rock. There's a heap of fucking... No, it's not. It's a World War II battleship, isn't it? Now I know what I'm pointing at. <laughs> and we're going for a beer. Beer's at 10.30. Grouse. Well, we finished at this beach, which is called... Scott, what beach? What's that say? No, think now. Moffat. No swimming. Yeah. Moffat, Moffat Beach, and now we're going to go to Mooloola Bar. Yeah. Bad off here, bad off there. Scott? Yeah, mate. I'll nice catch you in Melbourne sometime. Yeah, any time. Yeah, make sure you give us a bow when you're in Melbourne. Yeah, I'll give you some. I'm kidding. He was saying that. He said, what sort of handshake did you do? <laughs> The next day. Morning viewers, it's Tuesday morning and myself and ball bag, we're off to surface. Going to catch up with a mate of mine who's just moved up here and then later this afternoon, going to catch up with another mate who I grew up with, known all, all my life. So, uh, should be a fun day. So, let's see what happens. Are you pumped, ball bag? Let's go. And he's yeah, pumped. I'm pumped. Don't have to put any bloody long pants on today. Just the wife better in the short grass. Mm -hmm. And, might I say, it's quite a look. And we're <laughs> off to the push bike shop to buy uh, Paul a new bell, so oh, he's so, promise. so excited. <laughs> promise? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. So we're out at the uh, giant bike shop. Let's go get a bell for my Harvey Donaldson. Yeah. 
not as good as the other one, but we're going to keep looking. <laughs> Here we are in, we're in Surfers. Oh, we're going for lunch. Where are we going? For? The, uh, the Surfers Paradise Surf Club. Is it air conditioned? This is Murph. Absolutely. Hello, viewers. Hello, viewers. That's it. Yeah, so, uh, Good evening, viewers. Fred Scuttle here. Settle down. So, this is Gus Aru, one of the old punters from uh, down in Melbourne, now living up here on the on the Gold Coast, on his sub penthouse. Sub penthouse. <laughs> Say hello to the viewers. Hello, viewers. Well, prepared, I can't spell my name with a Z. <laughs> I can't spell my name. Right, here we are at the uh, Broad Beach Bowls Club. We're going to go and meet Bung. For a beer. Still going, viewers, yes. Looking forward to meeting Bung. <laughs> here we go. Good bowling. Good bowling. Good bowling. Good bowling. Good bowling. Good bowling. There you go, mate. Good, mate. <laughs> yeah, boy. This is my buddy. <laughs> Buggy. <laughs> well, viewers, we had a ripper time in service, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Nice, leisurely drink on the beach. Yeah. The beach front, the Cornish. The Cornish, yes. And I think you've got a, like a fascinating fact about something. <laughs> no pressure. Uh, now, what was that? So, what were we saying about the Cornish? Walking that Cornish since 18 years old. Yeah. Captain Cook in 1989. When he got here, Captain Cook. Yeah, roughly. <laughs> it's been about 100 years. Yeah. Close. The next day. It's Wednesday morning, and we're off to go and get some supplies for for uh, Freddie's mum's birthday party tonight, just this afternoon. We're all. Very, very excited. One hell of a shindy. It's party time. It's time to go upstairs. This is what we're here for. Freddie's mum's 90th birthday party. So let's go and have a look. Oh, brain, yes. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <I'm> <laughs> I'll give her another kiss. <laughs> Happy birthday. Get out. I don't know what they are, but they are beautiful. Really what are these called? What? I walk out to the these things. things. Yeah, all of them. They've got olives in them. Scrum, diddly umptious. <laughs> the next day. Okay, viewers, as you know, my bell flew off and hit me in the face as we're going along the Bruce Highway. Now we're going to do a little vlog to show you how to put a bell on Harvey Donaldson handlebars. Get the old one off first. Yeah, run us through it, Freddie. So we just stick the leatherman in, break, break the clip. Yeah. It's off. Oh, yeah. Piff it. Piff in the next door neighbours. <laughs> Especially if you don't like it. Yeah. How long does this think this is going to take, Freddie? Alright. Well, hopefully only under another two minutes. Uh, bill? There's a bill. Oh. <laughs> is it a bit A? The placement fell. Yeah, I'm not very happy with it, but yeah. it'll do. It'll, it'll get me home. It'll get us from Brisbane back to Pasco Vale and Collingwood get home so I can get myself a proper serious bill. Shouldn't I sit on and get my, get my thumb position? Oh, well, let, let's get the screw in first. There. As you can see, for yours, it's a two-man job. I've only got two hands. Yeah. It's a bit dicky. 
It's dicky. Now we just loosen it. I think we might go to a break here, viewers. Welcome back, viewers. Take it too, got the tape. Yeah. Now, what are you doing there, Freddie? Applying tape, is it? Yeah, just to make it a bit thicker. Yeah, oh yeah. Take up a bit of slack. Say when. Well, I can't see it. Oh, that's too far. No, I've got to come back. Hang on, let me get them in position. So, like, quick access so I can ding people. All right. Mm, I'm not very happy with the ring. Well, it'll get us. It'll get us to Pasco Vale. That's it. How to install a bell on a Road King Harley Do Donaldson. <laughs> Harvey. Harvey Donaldson. All done. Beautiful. Thank you. Just like that, viewers. Easy. <laughs>